Hey guys, how's it going? This is Bobby Cryptonet here, and welcome to another Crypto Chef video slash food vlog. Uh, today, I'm just making an old favourite of mine, a uh, simple pasta dish uh, that my grandmother used to make a lot. Uh, it's tomato with pasta and tuna, except I'm kind of going a little bit Mediterranean on it. I'm going to add some garlic, and I'm also going to add, I'm going to use olive oil instead of butter. Uh, so yeah, this was a sort of favourite back when I was about 10, 11. Uh, my grand used to make this quite a lot. It was a kind of family favourite. Uh, so it's doing away nicely right now. The pasta's got a bit more to do. It's not quite ready yet. But when it is ready, I shall show you the putting together of it and the final result. Okay, guys. Uh, our pasta is now ready, so... I've got it all drained, uh, there it is, looks lovely. So now, what I'm going to do when I'm once I've ready is, I'm going to add the pasta into the pan, you might hear a slight sizzling, and then I'm going to whip it round, add a sliver of oil, and add it round and round and round. A lot of people use butter, but I'm trying to go for a sort of, yeah, a sort of healthy Italian twist on the steam. Now that I'm going to take it off the heat, it's still sizzling, that's possibly not very good. Um, oh great, now we've got the kind of scrappy bits of tomato stuck in there. Yeah, this is a really professional cookery show, I know. Uh, yeah. Okay, tomatoes and garlic are all chopped. We're going to add them in. Let's take it about. And, of course, our drained Tuna. Scoop all that out of the tin into the pot. And then what you do is just stir it all up. Let's see if I can maybe move it back onto the heat for this and uh, stir everything all up so that the tuna breaks up, the tomatoes and the garlic get spread out nicely. And, mm, that's really bringing back memories, that smell of having this for dinner at my grand's when I was 10. Just, it's a nice dish uh, to bring back memories like this. And that's the sound of my computer running low on battery. And there you go. That's it, all mixed up. Now let's get it plated up. So, there it is, plated up in all its glory. Now, it's time to eat it. Dear Lord, thank you for the food I'm about to receive and the people whose efforts have brought it to my table. Thank you for looking after the, them and their families and please continue to do so. Amen. So, now it's time to try the pasta that I've made. Uh, let's get a good spoonful here. Uh, we've got a bit of garlic, we've got a bit of tuna, a bit of pasta, a bit of tomato. We've got the whole meal there. Now, let's see. Mmm. That's really nice. The, the garlic brings out a kind of sharpness. It gives it a sharper flavour. Um, makes it a bit more exciting, a bit more interesting. And it actually tastes a bit more like I remember it. I mean, my, this obviously wouldn't affect the taste, but I think my gran used fusilli pasta. Uh, for this, so it's tasty, it's healthy, it's simple, it's quick and easy to make, and it's good for you. And it's got the memories, and like just like when I was 10, I've got my glass of Robinsons here. So this is pretty much 2004 at my table. So there we have it. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. There you go on how to make this dish. So bon appetit and cheers.